so what's up everyone welcome to search at home and today guys we're going to have a quick tour and review inside of my home firewall and this is my first time to have a review on my firewall here at home and the reason why i'm going to tour you inside of my home firewall because someone asked me if how do i manage all the websites and how do i block some website on my kids computers okay so let's go So second guys, uh, I'm gonna show you what is kind of box that I'm using and what kind of firewall I'm using it. Okay, so let's go to my rack. Okay, so okay guys, this is my uh, rack here. Uh, this is my PFSense firewall. This is my LAN network and this is my one network. Okay, this is just a clone box and it has only a Intel pin. Pentium G4040 series something and it it's got only uh, 4 gig of RAM I think that's all and it's only just a double core computer okay and then let's go to our monitor so that's why I can show you what kind of firewall that I'm using okay bye alright here we go guys uh, this is our firewall here PFSense uh, this is very good firewall guys for me uh, based on my experience and this firewall is totally free you don't need to cash out money to you know install this on your box and this firewall guys is only just you know you can install this uh, pfsense on your old desktop or something you just need to add uh, another LAN port for your uh, one connection because you know uh, usually the desktop has a uh, onboard LAN right so and this firewall guys has a a bunch of packages that you can download and you can install it so that's why so look at that guys all right there's so many packages there uh light screen there's it and guys uh some people are using uh squid guide squid they're using squid guide to block and manage the blacklist and the white list of the website <coughs> so uh, based on my experience guys the squid is not didn't work for me well because you know there's some website that i can't block it like youtube or some website that using https you know it's still going through so i decided to use the package uh, PF blocker this one guys this is the package I'm using to block all the websites and you know create my blacklist and whitelist okay and we got also here this this is the available uh, features of this uh, PF sense yeah you can click it on advanced you can do firewall not networking and you can block miscellaneous something yeah and uh, you can do also a uh, uh, port forwarding on this uh, here in pfsense right look at that and we get also here routing purposes if you do have a two internet connection you can uh, make it you know load balance or you can do it like you know fail over or something see you can do gateway groups also static routes and then we get also here and guys here in firewall rules you can do some bunch of rules here you can do it like whatever you want so for me this is my existing firewall rules so i have some rules here disabled because that's for uh, testing for purposes only so this is my rules here uh, this is uh, default rules and this one this is the default rules so this is my default rules because I'm using uh, DNS blocker PF blocker NG so I just created this rule here to allow only the traffic coming from the host to use this uh, default DNS only which is my uh, 
uh, firewall IP address yes and this one here this is the rule that I just allowed only a specific IP address to bypass those uh, uh, blacklist and they can use uh, external DNS server so that's why they can go through to the internet but I have also here a rule that block all the DNS that coming from host to you know enter to my uh, firewall so that's why for example if you are like IT guy and then you know how to change your DNS IP so if you try to change your DNS IP like you're going to change it on uh, Google DNS so you can still not you cannot still browse the internet because this rule will block all the DNS that you entered in your host okay and uh, the next one is aliases you can create aliases if you want to block a specific website through IP ports or URLs here and then you can add anything here if you want it there you go I'm not going to explain it specifically because we will do it for another video on that so if you are going to create an aliases after you create it you can block it here on rules just create a rules and then you just point it on uh, here source okay that's it and then and then this is a pretty cool one for me you can do captive portal on it so <clears throat> for uh, right now it's not yet configured because you know I have no time yet so if you want to know what is captive portal you can search it on YouTube and maybe I can do a video on that someday okay so this is pretty cool this looks like if you want to uh, access the internet from your browser it will ask you for the username and the password before you can log into the internet right so uh, okay this is pretty cool guys you can do everything here so you have your DHCP server here DNS forwarder and you can do also dynamic DNS here and you can do also load balance here if you like you have uh, two firewalls you can load balance it yeah just create uh, virtual servers monitors yeah there you go and then uh, yes PPOE server you can do it like old internet connection uh, you can do so also VPN connection but I never tried this one for yet but this one I tried only this one and it works but I just deleted because you know it's not really useful for me and then you can do check all the status if all the services that you up is running so just click here you can do all the services that you started you can restart it manually like this here here or if you wanted to stop just click this one yeah and then you can you know monitor your interface here and the best one is here you can do a uh, reboot yeah state factory default and so on and so forth and more there you go guys uh, I think that's all but guys if you install this firewall you will not regret it because this firewall is very you know uh, cool you can do anything you can uh, manage and you can search everything on it you can do some tricks here and it works for me very well for example guys we will, we're going to browse on internet I just block all the website I just only allowed Google and some website but Facebook YouTube and other related website is all black so for example Facebook there you go Facebook is black YouTube is black for example I want to go in Google and then I wanted to open this one oh boy there you go you can search it but if you try to open it it will say oh your connection is not private so that is pretty cool guys this firewall is cool you can do whatever you want and this firewall is totally free you can download it on their website anytime and you can install it anytime alright 
so i think that's all for today guys and if you like this video please consider to subscribe and click the bell button uh, and because if we have a new video we will be updated on that okay so thank you so much for watching and god bless us all and stay at home guys so here in the philippines uh, our uh, quarantine is extended until may 15 oh my god that's sad to say okay so thank you so much for watching and bye